Now, we've got to move on. I love showing you cool stuff. And there's been an incredible asteroid explosion over the English Channel overnight. Have a look at this. Wow. Wow. Yeah, amazing stuff. Seen by plenty of people in Britain and France, captured on video, studied by the experts. And for the record, this rock was just big enough, apparently, to be classified as an asteroid rather than a meteor. Otherwise, we'd be talking about a meteor shower. Would have been great to see it, wouldn't it? Now, pardon the segue, but this comes at a time when the whole world is talking about strange objects in the sky. Spy balloons being shot down, along now with other unidentified flying objects over the US and Canada, leading to this bizarre exchange about aliens. Have you ruled out aliens or extraterrestrials? And if so, why? Because that is what everyone is asking us right now. I'll let the intel community and the uh, counterintelligence community figure that out. I haven't ruled out anything uh, at this point. We continue to assess uh, every threat or potential threat unknown that approaches North America US military didn't rule out aliens. Now, this is not a B-grade movie. This is real life, including this bit from the official White House press secretary. I know there have been questions and, and concerns about this, but there is no, again, no indication of aliens or extraterrestrial activity with these recent takedowns. Again, there is no indication of aliens or terrestrial activity with these recent takedowns. Too much, isn't it? It was my first topic when I caught up with our regular US commentator, Kristen Tate. We are living in crazy times, Chris, uh, but I never bought into the whole alien thing. I mean, think about it. If aliens <laughs> came all the way to this world, don't you think they'd have better technology than whatever kind of balloons the Chinese are putting up into the air at just 40,000 feet that can be shot down? I mean, it just makes no sense. But there are obviously lots of questions here. But what's most likely going on, what's most likely going on is President Biden is embarrassed because his administration allowed a Chinese spy balloon to go across the entire span of the United States over a week before shooting it down. So now our government is just shooting down everything in the air that it can find. I read in the New York Times that uh, the government and the military has actually tweaked its radar system to make it more sensitive. And as a result, the number of objects being detected in the air has shot way up. So in other words, when you look for objects in the air over U.S. soil, you'll find them. Uh, so this is just about Biden not wanting to look weak or be called a coward. But I do find this whole fascination with aliens to be kind of hilarious. I think Maybe. it's kind of a, a symptom of a more agnostic, atheistic society of people who like to ponder aliens. Be kind, it kind of gives them a way to feel like they're part of something greater or think about their own existence. But it was kind of a hilarious week on Twitter. Good Lord, we won't go down that wormhole just now. But perhaps if they'd <laughs> spotted the, the spy balloon quicker, they'd stop shooting down what might turn out to be weather balloons now. We will see. Let me go on to something else from the States where I think the world should be taking the lead. This is an example of how governments and leaders should act. This is the Florida governor, Ron DeSantis, taking on the ESG agenda, the environmental, social and governmental goals that are infecting our big corporates. Have a listen to him. If those ESG investments are actually the best investments, you can do it. We're not preventing you from doing that at all. If, if buying uh, solar panels companies and all that, if that is what, what is going to return the best, you're not restricted at all. You're only restricted if ESG is the rule. Uh, Christian, he's just so spot on, isn't he? If I've got an investment fund or shares in a company, I need them to invest in what's good for the bottom line, not trying to play politics with my money. Yeah, this is so great. This legislation being proposed by DeSantis would prohibit just state and local governments from uh, considering environmental, social, and government factors when making investment decisions. Obviously, this is how things should be. ESG has been used by our elites to implement this radical woke agenda and shove it down the throats of working class people. You know, I find it so interesting. ESG up until really recently was this very obscure topic. It has now totally entered the mainstream. And the fact that we now have Ron DeSantis, who is considered to be a front runner, a potential front runner in the 2024 presidential race, talking about this tells me that this is going to be a huge issue in years to come. And it should be, because as you said, other people need to be doing this too. It's, it's caused a huge, ESG has caused so many societal changes in this country and in the West globally.
It's so big. It's uh, massive in our country. Of course, as you say, in, in the West generally, the Europeans are up to their eyeballs in it. It's the whole Davos man theory, isn't it, where these rich corporates are trying to change the way the world works in, in a woke way without having to be troubled by inconvenient things like democracy. Oh, absolutely. And who gets hurt by it? Seniors and people who rely on the stock market, uh, people on fixed incomes who have no idea that they're in money, that their money is being invested in these in this kind of woke nonsense. Uh, again, I mean, as Ron DeSantis said, if if certain companies that are committed to these kinds of ESG type principles end up being truly the best investments, then so be it. But we shouldn't be making investment decisions based on this woke nonsense. That has got to end. And I'm so glad that average Americans and mom and pop investors are finally starting to wake up and realize this is going on. OK, I'm not going to talk about Joe Biden's uh, apparent insistence or those people speaking before him saying he still intends to run because I just can't <laughs> ab abide the thought. But what I do want to show our viewers and get your thoughts on is more insight from Kamala Harris. Here she is speaking about electric school buses. No exhaust, no diesel smell. The bus has Wi-Fi and even USB outlets next to every seat. I mean, come on, imagine, you can charge your phone on your way home from work. That's good stuff. My goodness me, she's a worry. I just want <laughs> Joe Biden to stay in robust health. I want his health to improve to last the next two years and not have to resign and hand over to her. Uh, more deep thoughts from Kamala Harris. He just <laughs> keeps them coming. Uh, Kamala Harris is such a dud. You know, there's so much talk about her potentially running for president after Joe Biden is done. And, you know, she was supposed to be this big star on the left. She is such a dud. Her own, the, the voters of her own party don't even like her. When she ran for president <laughs> in the last cycle, she couldn't even make it to California, her home state. She dropped out. She was selected by Joe Biden as his VP to check boxes. Uh, she is such an unskilled politician. I mean, it is just pretty impressive how bad she is at this. She is another one whose <laughs> balloon has been popped, I think. <laughs> we'll leave her till next time. <laughs> Thanks for talking to us again as ever, Kristen.